What's a better way to celebrate Halloween than to venture into the forests of Pulau Ubin in the middle of the night? Let's find out. In the whole little way, Tango. Hey. Wow, look, now you so many plants and animals. <laughs> In just a 10 minutes ferry ride away from mainland Singapore lies the island of Pulau Ubin. In the day, the rustic and fairly untouched beauty of the island allows you to experience Singapore for what it once was. But today, I'm with my friends Kenneth and John from the Reptiles and Amphibians of Southeast Asia Facebook page to uncover what lurks around this island once the sun goes down. Because of all the nature and trees around Pulau Ubin, snakes are much more commonplace here than they are in mainland Singapore. With at least 28 species of them slithering around on this island, how many of them can we find in just one night? Well, in just the first hour, we meet the Oriental Whip Snake. Also known as Vine Snakes or a Hatula Prasina, this is one of the most common snakes we have in Singapore. Being a boreal, green in colour and very slender, people do often overlook them as tree vines, hence the name. But all you need to do to identify them is to look for a pair of eyes with their distinctive horizontally elongated pupils, a trait that is unique only to this genus of snakes and commit the frog. Although mildly venomous, they do not pose any harm to humans. In fact, they actually share a similar trait with us in being one of the few snakes that are viviparous. This means they give birth to life young, no eggshells, just placenta. Are you having goosebumps yet? As the night progresses and the tides rise, another snake emerges. The gold-ringed cat snake, or also known as the mangrove snake or boiga dendrophila. Cat-eyed and nocturnal, these snakes are often found on trees. However, they are also very strong swimmers. Beautifully decked out in a distinctive black body with bright yellow rings, these snakes are a highly unpredictable and temperamental species that can sometimes strike repeatedly when handled or disturbed. Although their venom, called denmotoxin, has not been fatal to any humans to date, their bite still can cause painful swelling, skin discoloration, and strong bleeding. But as with most snakes, they would much rather avoid human contact and save their venom for their prey. But deeper into the island lives another striped serpent, and one that is far more venomous. Meet the Bandit Crate. Also known as Bangaris fasciatus, this snake is somewhat of a rarity in mainland Singapore. However, they have established themselves well in Pulau Ubin. Banded in black and white from head to tail, this species is one of the most venomous snakes in Singapore, with recorded human fatalities from all around the world. And although their bites are generally painless and leave no marks, do not be fooled. Their venom is composed of neurotoxins that paralyzes the muscles. Within one to three hours following a bite, symptoms such as abdominal pain and diarrhea will start to surface. And soon after, your diaphragm would cease to work and you would no longer be able to pull oxygen into your lungs. Are you scared now? Well, you don't have to be. Because most of these snakes try their best to avoid human contact and snakes as a whole are actually very misunderstood. Although feared by many people, snakes have no intentions whatsoever to harm humans. Yes, species like the mangrove snakes are highly unpredictable, but they only ever attack when provoked or disturbed. And even the highly venomous bandit crate has an instinct to hide first rather than bite, even when handled. That being said, snakes always and only bite for a reason. And it is very important for you not to get too close, because it stresses them and gives them that reason to strike. And if you ever encounter one in your living space, stay calm, respect boundaries, and give a call to Acres, where trained staff are always on standby to help transpose animals such as snakes back into their natural habitat. And that is all we have for today's Halloween episode. 
I would like to give another shout out to Kenneth and John from the Reptiles and Amphibians of Southeast Asia Facebook page for asking me along for this overnight hike and for providing all the wonderful photos that you have seen in this episode. Go check their Facebook page out because they have a lot of wonderful photography on there which they use as a tool to help teach the public about wildlife. And as always, subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled because it's a jungle out there. Okay, that's the sea. Okay, bye.